guys, welcome to YBI. My name is Eric Smith. Thank you so much for spending the time here with me. I know that there's so many places that you can go to get interview advice. So I appreciate you spending it here with me. Today, what I wanna talk about is how to get a job without any experience or how should you be interviewing to get a leg up without experience. First of all, everybody's here. Everyone has been here at some point. You have to start somewhere and companies know that. So get it out of your head that you have to have all this experience or you're not gonna get the job, right? There are a few things that you really need to think about to ensure that you're putting your best foot forward and giving yourself the best odds of getting the job that you want. Number one, you have to make sure that you were applying to the right type of jobs. So you need to be very realistic about where your experience sits in relation to what you're applying to. So if you're just starting out, just starting your first job search, maybe you've held part-time jobs in school, maybe you're just graduating school, or maybe it's just your first professional job and you have no work experience, that's fine, but you should be applying to entry-level jobs. If you're applying to jobs that have three to five years of experience, five to 10 years of experience, there is a massive misalignment and you're not gonna have any success because you're not qualified for those roles. So you need to make sure that you're doing a real honest assessment about what your experience is. And keep in mind, if you have had part-time jobs in school and you're saying, hey, that's four years of qualified experience, so I can apply to something that's five to six years of experience, that's not a direct translation. So this is again where I say you have to be very realistic about where your experience sits in the market for the jobs that you're applying to, right? So that's first. You need to make sure that you're evaluating what are you spending your time applying your applying to and is it directly correlated with your actual experience that you have that you can lend to that company. Now, maybe you're somebody who's just switching jobs or you, you've been in a career but you wanna completely change into a different industry, different type of job, that's fine. But again, you need to be very realistic about what skill sets do transfer over. It's not gonna be a one-to-one -one comparison or um, uh, uh, <clears throat> correlation of your previous experience to this brand new job, new industry. And so you need to be very realistic about that as well. You might be taking some steps back to completely change into a different field. So number one, you have to be very realistic about where your skill set sits and what you're applying to. Number two, if you don't have this experience, that's okay, but it's all about how you sell yourself, right? So what you're doing is you're selling your brand or you're selling yourself and some of the key characteristics about yourself that can really be an asset for that company. And it's your job to connect those dots for them. They have no idea who they you are. Likely they've seen your resume and they're still meeting with you, which means they're interested in you knowing that you don't have that experience, which is fine. But what they're looking for is, are you somebody who doesn't have experience but could be good in the role? And how you emphasize that is the story that you tell. So you have to really practice your personal brand. And how you do that is just, you really need to take stock of what are your key characteristics? What are your strengths? What can you lend to the role? And then you need to be able to weave that into your answers when they're asking you interview questions. And how you do that and how you best prepare for this is you need to study the job description. You need to know the key requirements, key responsibilities. What are they looking for in a successful hire? And what are some of those things, those key characteristics and strengths that you have that you can lend to that role? And that's what you need to be practicing. And all of your interview questions uh, and answers that you're practicing at home before the interview, you need to make sure that you are weaving those in and telling a really cohesive story about who you are and why you can add value to them. And it's as simple as that. I know it's nerve wracking and a lot of people overthink the I don't have experience piece. That's fine. But what you need to do is get into the mind of the recruiter or hiring manager. What are they looking for based on that job description? What are they needing you to do? And what are your key characteristics and strengths that can answer that call for them, right? And then you need to be make sure that you're selling that. And it's all in your personal brand and how you paint that picture. But that's how you need to be practicing. Study that job description, understand your key characteristics and strengths that lend to that job description and practice weaving those into your answers as you're practicing interview prep questions. And that is how you're gonna put your best foot forward and get a job where maybe you don't already have work experience in. And then from there, it's your work ethic, it's your attitude, it's your ability to learn and accept change management that is gonna allow you to pick up 
the skills necessary to gain the right experience to open doors and to allow you to grow your career where it makes sense for you. So guys, I hope this was helpful. I know this was quick, but um, I have an entire library of helpful interview advice. So if this was helpful, check out my other videos. I drop two videos every week. So hit subscribe to get updated on all the different interview advice and tips and tricks that are coming. It's not just for uh, entry level positions. It's for those that are in their job but maybe looking to change careers. So check out all those videos. I also have a complete comprehensive interview prep guide. So if you're just starting this process, check that out. All of my advice is centered around helping you improve your odds of getting the job that you really want. So guys, check that out. I appreciate you being here and hopefully this was helpful. We'll, we'll check in next time.